And a new study says state and federal governments are spending billions of taxpayer dollars every year on college students who drop out. ATVN's Christian Martinez talked to school officials at Cal State LA about why students aren't finishing school and how universities are addressing the issue. Anthony Garcia is a senior at Cal State LA, but just four years ago he was in a very different situation. Uh, so I got myself a little job and I thought I don't need to go to school I'll just work and move on up and you know and then I started working for I dropped out of school after the first year and Garcia was not alone the study done by the American Institutes for Research reported that 30 percent of first-year college students between 2003 and 2008 did not return to campus for a second year Federal and state funds brought in through taxpayers go to grants and other state funding that help support students in public colleges and universities. The study found that nationwide, more than $6 billion went to state funding for these students who dropped out after their first year. Nearly $1.5 billion went to student grants from states. And $1.5 billion went to federal grants. California is just one of three states that posted that it lost more than $400 million of state funds to students who did not return after their first year of college. But school officials here at Cal State LA say that they do not consider these funds to be wasted. Even though they may not come back that second year or that third year, oftentimes they will come back after that with a much greater understanding of how important it is to reprioritize and you know, put an emphasis on being successful in college because they know what difference it will make. And this is what happened in Garcia's situation. But of course you learn the hard way that you only move up so far and be without a degree, so I was like, darn, <laughs> so I went back. Gonzalez says each Cal State campus has developed a plan that focuses on improving graduation rates. At Cal State LA, the plan includes determining which students are at a higher risk of dropping out and getting them added attention from advisors. Christian Martinez, ATVN.